Hi YouTube, welcome back. Sorry it's been such a long time, but you know life is get, keeps you busy. But here we are in this uh, strange times of the coronavirus lockdown, and it's giving me a bit of free time. Still going to work. I'm one of the key workers, but as an engineer, um, so yeah, we've got a little bit of free time. So I thought I'd just show you through some of the things we've got going on at the minute. Um, here in front of us, got my version of the Tamiya Beetle. Got myself a beetle kit, and I thought I'd just build it up in my style. Uh, some of you have already seen. I quite like the patina look. One in the background here. Got the pumpkin low rider. I'll have a look through that in a minute. And then the one in front of us here. This is the Tamiya. It's on its custom built race trailer. There we go. Scratch built trailer. Um, got a few more bits to do to that, but you know how it is. Keep, I'll get, keep going. Keep building a few more bits. So, quick look around the the beetle itself. Just roll the trailer out of the way for a while. So here we are. It's just a standard Tamiya M06 chassis that comes with the kit. It has got bearings on it from RC Bearings. Um, best place to go and get your bearings from. Um, always try and put bearings in the kit. They come with bushes as standard, but it's just everything just runs a little bit smoother and a little bit freer with the uh, bearings. So I've got some uh, really rust look on this. Um, patina, this is all hand done, no airbrush on this one. Thought I'd give it a go without an airbrush. This is all street kit. Managed to get a little bit of pinstriping done by a company called Danger Signs over here in the UK. Met him at Volkswagen show for the real ones and he got that done for me. So, quick once round and we're going to some detail. A little Stinger exhaust there. Some scale looking race stickers on it. And in there we have Heinz, the driver. He's from the original Sand Scorcher, which is Tammy's other Volkswagen derived kit. And he is ready for a race. So let's have a quick look around it. Everything's pretty much standard kit, apart from we go to the rear wheels here. Uh, well, the rear tyres even. The standard kit wheels just painted up. And these are the Tamiya Smoothie wheels, a tyre, sorry, again, from the Scorcher. They are the front tyres off the Sand Scorcher. Just wanted it to go for that, that nose down, drag race, cal look, really. I quite like that look. So, we move on to the back end. We've got this Stinger exhaust. Which is what a lot of the drag race Volkswagens use. And this is actually a cut down sand scorcher exhaust. And you can see I've wrapped it as they do the heat wrapping there. That's actually used. Um, I'm a climber as well. We actually cut down climbing finger tape and then painted up to look like it should. So on the back, Hey Burner magazine, which is a UK based. Uh, Volkswagen and other sort of air-cooled um, Volkswagen magazine. And um, we've got the zero, sorry, O four four on there. That is Outlaw Flat Four. That is a drag race Volkswagen club over here in the UK. Um, and then Bugbus.net. There's just a few other scale stickers in there. So again, there's no hop-ups in there, standard motor, it's running the standard kit speedo in there. It's got a 2S LiPo, it's got a little Tower Pro um, servo in it, a standard tin can um, motor, no major hop-ups. I've got the Futaba, no I haven't, I've got the Sanwa in this one I think. Yep, the Sanwa um, receiver. The, so that's that one. So I've deleted the body post on this. Um, I like it because it just gives it a much better, um, more scale appearance, I believe, on there. So if you have a look at the pumpkin lowrider, 
which I did for Racer Magazine. Um, I had to build this. I'd, I could do whatever I wanted to the body, but as for mounting it, I did it as it would come from the kit so that it, everybody else could do the same thing. Just showing what you can do with a kit body, mounting it in a kit way. Obviously you can hide the body post in the back. This was just meant to be look like an old farm truck. Rusty wheel arches. Holes in the in the in the arches here. These are just some Dota wheels from the kit. I actually swapped the wheels around onto the beetle. I'll be painting these up. Dent in the bumper. So there we go. So yeah, I've got another project coming very soon. Again, my passion in real cars is Volkswagen, so you guessed it. It's going to be another Volkswagen. It's going to be this one here. The camper, the Type 2, so the T1. It's a uh, big favourite of mine, the split screen camper. One day, hopefully, get a real one. But for now, it's going to have to be this time, yeah. Very, very detailed body. It even has the overhang, which is quite difficult on a Lexan body, how they back form them. It has to be done in two or three separate actual um, pieces of the mould as it pops out. You can see some of the join lines through here and through here on the back. So it comes in and then spreads out to make it into this highly detailed model. It is the deluxe version. It has the, the trim lines all the way around here. It has the rear corner windows and the roof windows as well. So that is going to be done in another patina style. And this one is going to be slammed down on the ground. Unlike the, uh, the Beetle, which is a drag race look, this one is going to be slammed right down. Hopefully going to get another set of wheels for this. Going to go for some original BRMs or... Something slightly different. So I'll leave you now. I'll get back to you when I start painting this. I'm going to give a full run through video of how I do it, my style, and just every little tip and trick I can show you. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, etc., etc. You know the deal. Thank you. See you soon. Bye bye.